So here we are with sequence of operation of a high efficiency furnace. Thermostat just called for heat. Venter motor came on, but they call for heat. Everything goes right. The pressure switch here should close. You can see it's monitoring. That little red tube is attached basically to the outlet of the venter motor. So that pressure switch should close. Next thing on this one, we have electronic ignition on this particular furnace. So you can see the spark completely lights the flame. Again, there's a flame signal. Right here is the flame rod. So that's the attachment that senses the flame. Watch what happens when I unclip the flame rod. The flame will stay on for a few seconds, but then shuts off. Plug that back in. Now the unit will retry. Usually takes a second, it's a sequence. Sometimes they shut down. Just depends on the equipment. Some of them will keep running, some of them will try again. Some of them will wait for a hard reset. One way I could speed up the process typically is by resetting the power. So I turn the furnace switch to the off position and then back to the on position after about 10 seconds. And it'll take a bit, but it should fire right back up. Just to kind of go through some things while we're waiting for that to happen, you can see that this is the outlet. This is the actual vent that comes out of the venter assembly itself. So it connects to the outlet of the vendor assembly down here. This is the gas valve on this particular furnace. This is a multi-stage furnace. This is why we have so many wires going from the main board to the gas valve. That's your high limit switch back in here, 24 volt. It sits right on the actual inner front. The burner assembly up here, my particular furnace has four burners. And again, it has an electronic spark ignition, which is a little tougher to see, but up in there, that orange wire is the spark wire. So that basically, there's a pair of electrodes across there. There's also up in there a flame rollout switch. So these wires here, and I'm trying to adjust everything, where my fingers are wiggling is actually a rollout switch to make sure that the flame isn't going where it shouldn't. And then finally we've got our flame sensor down here and you can see what holds that in is a quarter inch uh, screw at that point. Very easy to pull that out to clean. So again, we fired up. <clears throat> Venter motor has started. Pressure switch, we will assume, has uh, has closed. Two pressure switches on a high efficiency. Normally, one of them will be connected to the drain system to make sure it's draining okay. The other one will be connected to the venter. You can see a bit of rust in the bottom of mine, too. I had a leak up here a couple of years ago where this, this uh, actual connection from the factory was leaking. So I siliconed it. It seems to be fixed now. So again, now we have main flame. And then, of course, our blower is going to kick on. We're waiting here when the blower kicks on. All the information from the furnace is on the rating plate, which you can see over there. So this one in particular is a ream uh, furnace. Rude, which is basically the uh, cousin of the Ream. You can see the model and serial number there, and on these they have a manufactured date, so my furnace was manufactured on the uh, 10th month of 2009. The approval is obviously up there as well for the furnace. See the intake pipe? Uh, so that's a fresh air intake coming in, so that brings in air from the outdoors. You can see it has a drain on this. A lot of urine products require a drain. A lot of other manufacturers recommend a drain uh, when you have such a, a hookup like this. So I'm waiting to see whether or not the blower is going to start. I think it has, but let me check. Pull the, uh, pull the filter out. Feel the air, so obviously we are. We actually have the main blower running. Now my furnace, the blower is not right beside where the filter box is. 
what I've done is I've uh, mounted my furnace on a box. So my furnace actually sits up a little ways in the basement. I like it, it gets it off the floor, it's easier for me to work on. If I have any moisture issues, then it's not a concern around the base of the furnace. But the actual ductwork you can see comes down through the filter into the bottom of that box, through the bottom of the furnace, and then on up and out to the air conditioning coil up at the top. So everything is operating okay. So